In this video, we'll see if we can slap that chicken. Let's go. Hello everyone, Wei and Physics here and this is 5 Minutes Physics where you learn physics in lesser time than it takes to make boba. So no time wasted. Today's video is about specific heat capacity. What exactly is specific heat capacity? Well, by definition, heat capacity means the amount of heat it takes to increase a substance temperature by 1 degrees Celsius. And specific in this case means 1 kilograms of that substance. So when you combine them both together, specific heat capacity means how much heat do I need to increase 1 kg of something by 1 degree Celsius. Now of course, everything has their own specific heat capacity. So the heat required to increase the temperature of different things will be different. But this amount of heat can be calculated using this formula. Q is equals to mc theta. Q in this case means the heat required. M is the mass. C is the specific heat capacity. Theta here means the change in temperature. Each of these variables should also be accompanied by their SI units. Now, given my definition of specific heat capacity and given this equation, if I set my mass to be one kilograms and my theta to be one degree difference, I can see that my Q is equal to C. That means the specific heat capacity is the amount of heat required. So the higher the specific heat capacity, the more heat is needed to increase the substance temperature. Eh, 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 eh. You quite cool, right? That means you must have high specific heat capacity. Eh, 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 eh. You quite hot, right? So that means you have low specific heat capacity. So, how do we actually use this specific heat capacity equation? Let's have a look at the example. You suddenly wake up from your nap, remembering that your mom asked you to take the chicken out of the freezer to defrost half an hour ago. The 1 kg chicken is at 0 degrees Celsius and needs to be defrosted to 15 degrees Celsius. The specific heat capacity of the chicken is 2,800 joules per kg per Kelvin. If slapping the chicken gives it 25 joules energy, how many times do you need to slap the chicken to save your life? So we know this is a specific heat capacity question, so I'm going to write down my formula. Q is equals to mc theta. Then, I'll find the details I have in my question. M is the 1 kilograms of chicken. C is the specific heat capacity of 2800. And the theta is the temperature change. So from 0 to 15 degrees, if I change both of the degrees to kelvins, I'll get 288 minus 273. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're looking for temperature differences, you do not need to change the temperatures to kelvins. You can easily keep them as degrees Celsius and still get the same answer. But if you're easily confused between when to change to kelvins and when to keep it in Celsius, it's safe to change everything to the SI units. So if I put these values into the calculator, I'll get 42,000 joules. Now, if I want to know how many slaps does it take to give the chicken 42,000 joules, I'll have to use the Q required divided by the energy given per slap. So 42,000 joules divided by the 25 joules that each slap gives. I'll get my answer to be 1,680 times. Do keep in mind that this is assuming all the energy from the slap is transferred as heat energy into the chicken, which does not happen in real life because some energy is always lost to the surrounding. So that was specific heat capacity and that's it for today's video. If you want more examples of specific heat capacity, you can click on the link at the top of the video or the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more physics related videos. Also, share this video out to your friends who need them. 
I'm Wayne Physics and this was 5 Minutes Physics. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, never stop learning.